Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I hope you're having a great day. I'm playing a fingerstyle instrumental of Love Is All Around by the Trogs. Web, web, web. Uh, and this is just a lovely melody that lends itself so, so nicely to fingerstyle guitar. I'm really proud of the arrangement. You can get my tab completely for free just by joining the Learn Guitar in London student area. I've left a link in the video and there's a link in the video description if you're watching on YouTube. Let's get started how to play it. It's just got a handful of open chords. It should be reasonably accessible for you beginner instrumental fingerstyle players. Let's have a go. As this is a fingerstyle instrumental, I use a system on my right hand uh, my picking hand for the top three strings, which is thumb on E, thumb on A, thumb on D, so that's the top three strings. Index finger plays G, middle finger plays B, and ring finger plays E. System I use for calling the strings is Eddie A Dynamite, Goodbye Eddie, or E A D G B E. I like to give the strings the letters rather than numbers because I find numbers confusing if we're using numbers on frets and numbers on strings, okay? Um, on the left hand, well, fret one, fret two, fret three, fret four. Uh, terms of fingers, index, middle, ring, pinky. Let's have a look at the first couple of bars of the song. Do make sure you've got the music because I will be using, dividing it into bars like that. Okay, so it would help you if you know a few basic chords for this song. So those chords are G, A minor, C, and D. And then there's a little variation on the D where we hold down fret three on the thinnest whilst making a D chord, which is called D suspended fourth. Okay, so those sort of four and a half chords, as it were, they're, they're gonna get you a long, long way um, with playing this song. So the beginning, what we're doing is we're just setting the picture by plucking those chords with a finger style pattern. So we're fret three on the thickest string, making our G, but you don't really need any more of the G than just that note. So that's the only one I'm gonna bother holding down with my ring finger. And then I'm gonna go thumb on thickest, index, middle, index, or thumb, G, B, G. Then I'm gonna make an A minor chord, that's fret one on the first fret on, <laughs> on the B string, middle finger on fret two on the D, and ring finger on fret two on the G. And then I'm going to play thumb on the open A string, index on the G, middle on the B, and index. So bass note, picking pattern, bass note G, B, G, bass note G, B, G, bass note. And then from here I'm going to change to a C chord, so I'm going to leave all that A minor held down. The only difference is I'm going to lift up my ring finger and put it on fret three on the A string. So I've got one, two, and three, and that gives me a picking pattern for the next um, chord, which is the same as the A minor. So that's thumb on A, index, middle, index. Then I'm going to make a D chord, so that's fret two on the G string, fret two on the E string, and fret three on the B string with index, middle, and ring. And I'm going to play the open D string, index on G, middle on B, index. Okay, so that bar is... So we've got A minor, G, keeping the other fingers held down, D. We then repeat that in bar three, G again, A minor, C, and then this time we're going to take our D and we're going to strum it with the side of our thumb. Don't strum the whole D, just the D, G and B string, and just strum down. Then play open G, so just lift up your D chord, play that open G. Okay, so that is our intro. We just played that the once. And now we're going to get into the verse. Let's have a look at the first two bars of this. So that's third fret on the thickest string again, like how we started the song. Pinching, thumb on that note that we're holding down, an open B string with the middle finger. Then play the B again. Then whilst leaving that third fret held down, take your middle finger on your fretting hand and hold down fret two on the G string and pinch 
that note that you're holding down with the three that we had before, then open on that string. So lift up the middle finger. Then make an A minor chord, pinch the A string and the D string, sorry, G string. Then play thumb on D, then thumb on A string, then thumb on D. Let's do that bar again slowly. A minor. Then make a C chord. So remember to make a nice smooth change to C from that last chord. Just lift up the ring finger on the fretting hand and place it on fret three on the A string and spread those fingers out. Play that note, that fret three, then middle finger on the first fret on the B, then pinching the A and the B, then lifting up the index finger to play the open B string. Then lift up the rest of the chord, move the middle finger down, just one string, try and do that without lifting up the finger, just move it down to the G string and then Pick the D string and the G string, which is holding down a two. Then play the two again on the G by itself. Then thumb on D, open on B. Okay, so I'll do bars five and six, the beginning of the verse again. Okay, now let's move on to seven and eight. This is what they sound like. Okay, so we're back onto our third fret on the thickest string. You'll see that will be a theme in this song. We're gonna play that note, then open on B. And this is very similar to what we had in bar five, but not quite the same. I was just checking it there, but it's not quite the same. Then second fret on the G string, pinching those two notes, the three that we're holding down on thickest and the second fret. Then lift up the second fret on the G and play it open. Then make an A minor, play the A string and the G string. Thumb on D, thumb on A. C chord, so make that swift change from there, play thumb on A, middle on B, then pinch A and B, then lift up the index finger that's holding down fret one on the B and play it open, then move that middle finger down again to fret two on the G, play the D and that note you're holding down like we had before, then this time lift up the middle finger off G, find fret four with the ring finger on the D string and then open on the G string. So that bar, bar eight slowly. Now those, both those bars, seven and eight, repeat and we go back to bar five. So I'll give you a chance to play that a few times. Doesn't matter if you can't do it this fast for now. We then go into bar nine. So the first half of bar nine is the same as bar five. So that's fret three on the thickest string playing that and the open B string as a pinch. Open B string by itself, fret two on the G, pinching the um, thicker string as well, and then make an A minor and pinch the E and the B string, the A and the B string, then thumb on D, then thumb on A. And the rhythm is just slightly different there. One and two and three. A 
take a C chord from there, swift change like before, thumb on A, middle on B, and while you're making the C chord, put the little finger down on fret three on your B string, um, keep the rest of the C held down, pinch that A and the B string, then lift up the pinky to go back to this one. So never let go of this or the rest of the chord, just put this finger to cancel out that finger. Then move the middle finger down like we've had before on so many occasions, D and the G string as a pinch, then play the G on two by itself, then open D, B. And then these next two bars, 11 and 12, are the same as 7 and 8, so we've had this before. to the next page, bars 13 and 14, they are the same as 9 and 10. So you can just skip back in the video if you, if you can't remember 9 and 10, but I did teach you that before. And then 15 is the same as 11. So it's almost a repeat, and then as you go to do what would be bar 12, so 16 is the same, the first half, but then it changes. So this is 16. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the C as normal, thumb on A, middle, then pinching thumb and middle, then open on the B, then I'm changing swiftly to a D chord. I'm pinching the D string and the G string, then middle finger, then index finger, then ring. And staying with that D theme into bar 17. Okay, so you're staying with that D chord. This time you're going to put your little finger down on fret 3 on the thinnest as well. And that will give you, so we're going to go thumb on D, this is fret 3 on the B, fret 2 on the G, and then ring finger playing that fret 3. So it's. Then you can let go with the little finger to go back to your normal D you do the same picking pattern. So 16 into 17. You can hear it's the same picking pattern. And then we're into our chorus. Okay, so let's have a look at that chorus. So we're making a C chord for this and we're going to go thumb on the A string, then middle finger on the B, and then we're gonna do a three-fingered pinch, thumb on A, index and middle, then B string by itself. So it's thumb, middle, triple pinch, middle, triple pinch, middle, thumb on A, middle. changing to an A minor, so going back the other way this time, we're going to go A and B string uh, as open strings initially, so you can lift up the index finger. In fact, you don't need the whole thing, but please keep the second fret on the D and the G throughout your A minor. Pinch the A and the B, then index finger on G, thumb on A, index finger on G. And then we've got this little change, thumb on A, Lift up with the ring finger off fret two on the G string, and then play the thumb on the D. And that part goes. And the ending is just open A, open G. But listen to the rhythm there. One and two and three E and four and. Okay, those two bars, 18 and 19. Twenty is the same as bar 18. The only slight change is the ending. So we're sticking back with our C chord. Thumb on A, middle finger on B, pinching, triple pinch, 
thumb index middle, then B by itself, then triple pinch again, and triple pinch again, and then fret three on the B string to hold down uh, the third fret on the B. And then bar 21. So this is third fret on the thickest string again, playing that note and the open G string. Open G string, fret two on the G, then lift up. Pinch, individual pinch, and three, three again, index. Next two bars. So you make your C chord again, pinching, triple pinch, thumb on A, index and middle, just like before. Then play the middle finger on the one. Then you're going to do this pattern of thumb on A, B, A, B, A, B. Then changing to an A minor, but you don't need the index finger again for your A minor, but the rest of the chord will serve you well. Pinching the A and the B. Next finger on G, thumb on A, and then G. So that bar, thumb on A, thumb on A, open G. So you will just need to lift up that ring finger again. And sticking with the same chord, I'll do that slowly. So you put that ring finger now back again, play the A and the G string. B, then thumb on A, G, thumb on A, thumb on, lift up again at that second point. So bar 23 and 24. And make a D chord, triple pinch on this, so that's the D, G, and the B string. Now with your D, you lift up the ring finger to play an open thinner string. Thumb on D, middle, thumb on D, index on G, thumb on D, ring on thinner string. And the next bar. Now I need to talk about the join here. So we can, this is what, normally what we do in 26. It's the same chord. At this point it says DS Alcoda. Now what that means is, is you're going to go back to bar 5 if it's the first time. And then you go round and you play all the way round including the repeats of 5, 6, 7 and 8. And you go all the way round and then the very last time you would do and finish on a G. Okay, I don't like to strum the thinnest string at the bottom. So let's finish there. Okay. So if you have enjoyed my tutorial for lovers all around me, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel for more fingerstyle lessons just like this. Keep on playing and I'll see you for another lesson soon.